Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on converting a number in the form a times 10 to the b to standard form. Now we've got these different numbers here we want to convert to standard form. Now hopefully you've already seen my video on what standard form is and how we convert normal numbers to standard form. Now these numbers are sort of almost in standard form but there's something a bit wrong. Now remember what standard form is. It's when we have a number times 10 to the power of a whole number. So the b is a whole number, could be negative, it's an integer. And then the restriction on this number at the start was it had to be a number between 1 and 10, excluding 10. So it's got to be at least 1, but it's got to be less than 10. Now, these numbers are not between 1 and 10. Look, this is less than 1, this is more than 10. So what we need to do is we need to either multiply or divide this by 10 until it is between 1 and 10. Now, we need this to be bigger. So if we multiply this by 10, it will now be 3. And that is a number between 1 and 10. That's great. However, by timesing this number by 10, we've overall made the number 10 times bigger. So to compensate, we have to make the other thing 10 times smaller. Because if this becomes 10 times bigger and this becomes 10 times smaller, overall, it will be the same value. Now, if you have 10 to the 6, now think what that means. That means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. We've got six 10s multiplied by each other. If we divide by 10, that gets rid of one of those 10s because we're making it 10 times smaller. So we're just going to have 10 to the power of 5. If you think about laws of indices, if you had 10 to the 6 and you divide by 10 to the 1, it would be 10 to the 6 minus 1, which is 10 to the 5. So now this is in standard form because that's between 1 and 10 and it's something times 10 to the power of a whole number. What about this one? Well, we need to divide this by 10 to make sure it's a number between 1 and 10. Remember, we either times by 10 or divide by 10, or 100 or 1,000, etc. So that's now 3.5. And therefore, to compensate, if that's 10 times smaller, this has to become 10 times bigger. Now, when we times this by 10, then the index here goes up by 1. Just like when we divide by 10, the index went down by 1. When we times by 10, the index goes up by 1. So minus 5, if we add 1, becomes minus 4, and that's the final answer. Now, this skill will be really useful when we come on to multiplying and dividing numbers in standard form.